It started as an idea in Parker trying to refurbish old ventilators and make new ones for COVID-19 patients in desperate need. Well, now just two weeks later, that idea is a reality and taking off. Denver 7 Sean Toll spoke with the co-founder of the nonprofit behind it all to just see for himself how it got started. Just a couple weeks ago, Michael Raymer didn't like what he was seeing on TV. Just horrified at the scene in New York the shortage of ventilators in the country. So he and an old colleague came up with an idea. The idea that Paul had is let's repurpose the ventilators that have been retired in hospitals. Welcome in Covents. In just two weeks, they got nonprofit incorporation, a ventilation acquisition team, donations, and seven facilities around the country to refurbish the old ventilators. To make this happen is, uh, is remarkable. They just started refurbishing 10 this week. Our target is 2,500 aggressively. Uh, you know, we think 500 is very much in range over the next 30 to 45 days. Trying to help people. It'll probably impact six to 7,000 people. That's a lot. It's a lot of people, a lot of lives saved. This is only a short-term plan. When we first set up the company, we said the half-life of this company would be 90 to 120 days. You know, we're in it for the sprint. A stopgap to help fill the void until more ventilators can be built. It felt like we had to do something. You know, there are people that are going to be impacted, and it, it might even be one of our family members. So we wanted to do everything that we could step in and fill the gap. A short-term fix with permanent impacts. Sean Toll. Denver 7.